The designs of electric scooters went through a series of metamorphoses over the past years. Initially, they were regarded as a means of city commuting, but then got more robust and rugged. Today, we're looking at the latest stage of e-scooter development, the ATV-like machines with 4x4 drives for off-road exploration. Let's get started. Cycleboard X-Quad 3000 Cycleboard was one of the first electric scooter manufacturers that started adding additional wheels for better riding stability. Their three-wheeled Rover scooter has been regarded as one of the best adventure scooters for some time now. However, for the upcoming 2025 model year, Cycleboard announced a brand new model called the X-Quad 3000. The newcomer features a four-wheel drive setup with an independent double wishbone suspension and a patented linkage system that allows sharper cornering. For your riding convenience, the deck is covered with a custom pad with improved grip and durability. Two electric motors with a combined output of 3,000 watts serve as a source of propulsion for the X-Quad 3000 and bring 27 mile per hour top speed and 40 degree hill climbing capabilities. One charge of the 60 volt 30 amp hour battery pack gets you up to 50 miles of riding, while the recharging can be done through a regular household outlet. The list of standard equipment also includes integrated foot and brake lights, an advanced LCD control board with four switchable performance settings, and a four-wheel braking system with regen feature. Langfeet's GT4S GT4S Electric Adventure Scooter is equipped with a set of high-quality components that make it a prime choice for a joyride at the nearest dirt trail or a powerful utility vehicle for your overland trips, since it has a maximum load capacity of 660 pounds and a trailer feature in case you need to tow your gear behind. The power comes from four hub motors that can transfer 14 kilowatts of peak output to the wheels with 13-inch ultra-wide tubeless tires. That's enough power to climb hills with 55-degree inclines and reach speeds nearing 68 miles per hour. Such energy-demanding motors had to be matched with a high-capacity 84-volt 50-amp-hour battery pack that offers a max range of 75 miles and four piston hydraulic brakes for confident stopping. For efficient hill climbing and navigating around obstacles, this model offers an industry-leading 30-degree steering angle, a 30-degree tilt angle, a four-wheel drive feature, and a reverse gear. MDT Tech 1 and Mini MDT Tech is a young electric mobility company that's seeking funding for the production of two exciting electric scooter models, the full-size MDT 1 and its smaller sibling called the MDT Mini. Both models have a four-wheel design with all-terrain off-road tires. MDT 1 is based on a high-strength tubular chassis with an independent suspension setup and sports two electric motors with 1500 watts of output each. The motors can operate in five pre-programmed speed modes. The most powerful mode that brings speeds up to 30 miles per hour and 40 degree hill climbing capabilities. With a load capacity of 350 pounds and up to 62 miles of range from a fully charged 48 volt 30 amp hour battery pack, MDT-1 is a great tool for exploring the wild. The more compact MDT Mini is more suited for city commuting, but it's still built to withstand bumpy roads and potholes. The model rolls on 11-inch tubeless tires and has two 1,000-watt electric motors to push you to 30 mile per hour speeds, tackle hills with 30-degree inclines, carry loads up to 440 pounds, or tow 200 pounds in a trailer. A full charge of a 48-volt 30-amp-hour battery gets you 60 miles of riding, while other noteworthy features include hydraulic disc brakes, a four-wheel suspension, LED lights, a control display with NFC unlocking, and a removable seat. Lighthorse 
Modern electric scooters come in different shapes and sizes. They can be as small as those ride-sharing scooters we see on the roads every day, and as big as Light Horse LH4. What is a Light Horse, you may ask? It's a high-performance electric scooter with massive tires and four-wheel drive capabilities. The quad-motor all-wheel drive setup pushes out 10.5 kilowatts of continuous power output, while the torque parameter reaches an astounding indicator of 600 pound-feet. Such output figures grant 40 mile per hour top speed capabilities, a 500 pound payload capacity, and a towing rating of 1,000 pounds. At the moment, this scooter like ATV can be purchased with three battery options that range from 4.67 to 9.3 kilowatt hours of capacity. The base model can cover 25 miles between charges and has a four hour recharge time, while the top spec model offers up to 50 miles of riding autonomy. Light Horse LH4 tips the scales at 800 pounds, has an 8-inch ground clearance, and is equipped with an independent coil-over suspension, all-terrain tires, and powerful hydraulic disc brakes for supreme off-road performance. Teveron Tetra For more than five years, Teveron Electric Scooter Company has been working on electric kick scooters of various types, including those specially developed for off-road exploration. For the upcoming 2025 model year, the company's upping the ante and presenting a four-wheel drive scooter for extreme adventures on the nearest dirt trail. The Tetra 4x4 scooter may be optioned with either a two-wheel or a four-wheel drive system with 1,500 watts generated by every motor unit. The available traction control system can function in an automatic mode and turn on the 4x4 drive when climbing hills. Regardless of the motor setup, you're getting 13-inch off-road tires, a 60-volt, 60-amp-hour battery pack, 34-mile-per-hour top speed capabilities, four hydraulic disc brakes, and a 4-inch TFT control display. Both versions have four switchable performance modes and can cover up to 120 miles in the least demanding mode. It seems that the main difference between the models is the weight. The four-wheel version tips the scales at 182 pounds, which is 15 pounds more compared to the two-wheel drive version. V-Hop V-Hop represents the next generation of electric adventure scooters that gain a 4x4 wheel setup. Besides putting to use an additional set of wheels, the V-Hop scooter has a robust tubular frame, a large standing pad, all-terrain tires, and an independent suspension with 8.5 inches of ground clearance. Alternatively, described by the manufacturer as a mini ATV, the V-Hop scooter is available with either a two-wheel or a four-wheel drive setup. The cheaper two-wheel drive model weighs 139 pounds and uses electric motors with a peak output of 3200 watts and a 60-volt, 30-amp-hour battery pack. Such technical specifications enable it to cover distances up to 40 miles between charges and give it the top speed capabilities of 26 miles per hour. In the case of the range-topping four-wheel drive model, the combined motor output is increased to 6400 watts and the top speed is limited to 28 miles per hour. On a full charge of a 60-volt, 40-amp-hour battery pack, you can expect to cover up to 50 miles and would need about 10 hours to replenish the charge to the max. RJ Tech Steinadler Pro Steinadler Pro is an upcoming four-wheel scooter that is being developed to endure the most trying use scenarios, both in sub-zero conditions and on days with scorching heat. This four-wheel electric ATV is based on a reinforced steel alloy frame that can withstand loads up to 440 pounds and offers a 180 millimeter ground clearance. Each of the wheels with knobby tires hides a powerful hub motor rated for 5 kilowatts of peak output. When combined with a 4.5 kilowatt hour battery pack, these motors will zip you from 0 to 28 miles per hour in 2.5 seconds and continue onward to the limited top speed of 53 miles per hour. As for the climbing capabilities, it should have no problem powering up hills with 35 degree inclines. 
The manufacturer estimates a 65-mile range in the low-power setting, while in the most aggressive riding scenarios, the range shouldn't drop below 35 miles. It should also be noted that this four-wheel electric ATV has a foldable stem for easy transportation, a smart control display, LED lights, off-road tires with mud guards, and a retractable seat. In the automotive world, a Hyper label automatically adds a vehicle to the list of the most powerful and expensive models on sale. The London-based transportation company decided to use the same naming strategy to highlight the extraordinary nature of their electric stand-up scooter. The Dragonfly Hyper Scooter features an innovative construction with four wheels, a patent-pending full-tilt steering technology, and a convenient folding design. The model is brought into motion with a dual-motor powertrain that yields 1,650 watts of output and allows 25 mile per hour speeds. The scooter uses two mechanical rear drum brakes and two modulated electric brakes in the front to give you the ultimate control over the power output. The Dragonfly can cover 50 miles on a charge thanks to the 20 watt hour battery pack. The model ensures the comfort and safety of your trip by using a 4x2 traction control system, all-wheel suspension, informative 4.5-inch 4K display, and full LED lighting with turn signals. The model is capable of carrying riders up to 350 pounds, while the overall scooter weight is just 39 pounds. Finally, if you'd like to use the Hyper Scooter beyond just carving down the city streets, there's a DFX model, specifically equipped for off-road use. Our team is working hard on bringing the latest and greatest news from the world of electric two-wheelers. If you'd like to support our efforts, please subscribe for further updates and feel free to share our work with your friends or request new overviews in the comment section below. Thanks once again and till next time.